Nobody expected or welcomed the demolition of the old lift bridge. But we stand today on the eve of new traffic flow. A damp and rainy start to the day revealed considerable activity on both the east and the west ends. The priestly team was busy outloading scrap metal, whilst the iron workers outloaded redundant steel components. Over on the west side, Hewson had arrived to unload and install barriers. It became very clear, very quickly, that no risk is to be allowed of anybody driving into the lake. Much material departed today. demonstrating incidentally the strength of the bridge. Simple scrap collected over several days was next to go. Before long it was the turn of the nests of gas cylinders to leave. Crew from Ross and Anglin spent much of the day engaged in ensuring that no trip hazards existed between the transition between the roadway and the walkway on the bridge. Detailed work was demanded at either end. Often, nearby, the team from Hewson was installing the barriers and protective screens. By mid-afternoon, things were looking pretty settled. Both walkway ends were in place and a group of visitors appeared. It seems very likely that they may have assembled to inspect the bridge and give a blessing to its opening to traffic. We can certainly hope that this is the case as we look over the bridge and await the departure of the equipments. Which is not long in coming. Thanks for watching this update and keep your fingers crossed that tomorrow we'll see traffic other than construction vehicles cross the bridge.